Melanie. Welcome to Mixed Media Monday with Paper Issues. Thank you for following us. Every Monday, we're gonna to come to you with a little short video about some different kind of mixed media, new products that we have in the store, things like that. Today, we're gonna to be talking about splatters. So most of the products I'm using today will be in the store or have been in the store, and you may already have them in your stash. Remember when you're shopping to use code MMMONDAY when you check out at Paper Issues, and that will save you 20% on your order. And if you spend $75 or more after your discount, you get free shipping. So let's get started. The first two things we're gonna to use today to make splatters is the Distress Oxide in Salvage Patina and the Distress Ink in Peacock Feathers. All I'm gonna do is smash them a little bit on my glass mat. We're gonna do this one first. I'm gonna use my little sprayer water bottle. This one was out of stock. We've been waiting to get it in, but there's a smaller bottle that you can use to mist with as well. I'm gonna put a little squirt on my paper. I'm just using plain white cardstock. I have several different paint brushes that I like to make splatters with. Just depends on the size of the paintbrush that you use as to the size of splatter that you're gonna get. This is my favorite and my go-to. These two are the ones I use the most. So I'm gonna use this one right now. It's about a half inch long. It's, you want it to be pointed on the end, not a flat paintbrush. So I'm just gonna twirl my brush around in the water and I'm gonna hold it about three fourths of the way back and I'm just gonna gently tap and it makes nice little splatters on your paper. You can hold it up higher and they'll be a little further apart. You can go closer and they will be closer together. Okay, so this is the Salvage Patina in the Distress Oxide. The next one we're gonna do is the Distress Ink in Peacock Feathers. You can't really see that one on here because it's not that milky, consistency because it's not an oxide. Same paintbrush, twirl it around. It's a much brighter color because it doesn't have the opaqueness of the oxide. So those are the way to use your Distress Oxides in your Distress Oxide or your Distress Ink to make your splatters with that. The next thing we're gonna talk about using are the different sprays that you have. So in the store, we have some of the Dina Wakely Gloss Sprays, we have some of the Distress Oxide Spray, and we have some of the Distress Spray Stains. Very rarely do I use a paintbrush on these. Generally, I just take these out and use the nozzle that is in there. So I just kind of twirl it around and then tap. And you're getting the same kind of thing. You can make bigger splatters with these, letting it drop off. These are more of like the big ink splatter that you would get. So that was the Distress Oxide Spray. This one is Squeeze Lemonade. I'm sorry, that color was Salty Ocean. Distress Spray Stain in Squeeze Lemonade. It's a really pretty color. I hope that yellow shows up on there. And again, this is a Distress Spray Stain, not, not an oxide, so it's more translucent where those are more opaque. Okay. And the last one we're going to use in the bottles is the Dina Wakely Gloss Spray. This one dries if you let it dry on its own or hit it with a heat gun. This one dries with a sheen because, it again, it's a glossy acrylic spray. It's really pretty. This one is called Blackberry. And you can do the big splatters. And if you're wanting a splatter bigger, you can take the end of it or your paintbrush and just kind of maneuver it, make the edge a little rough, and make bitter, bigger splatters as well. So most of us have some kind of spray in our stash that we can use to make splatters with. Don't be scared of splatters. The next thing that I have is watercolor. Most all of us have some kind of watercolors in there. This is a pink fresh watercolor, sky blue. So I'm gonna drop just a little bit in my little well. So you can do, I'm gonna use my paintbrush for this. I'm gonna use the smaller one. This one you can use straight without diluting it and it's gonna be, you know, much more of a vibrant, stronger color. Or you can put a little drop in and dilute it like you would a watercolor. Put a little water. And swirl it around to mix it up. 
and you can tell it's a little bit lighter. That's a beautiful color. And again, same thing with this. You can take it and just kind of move it around, make it more fluid to get a bigger splatter if you want that. I'm gonna wipe my brush off. So that's a watercolor. Most of us have watercolors in our stash. I'm gonna go ahead and take the paper towels and roll this. Normally I wouldn't roll the gloss spray. I would let it roll, uh, let it dry by itself. There we go. The next thing we're gonna talk about are the crayons by Vicki Booten. We have the original crayon that she had out here and then we have the new gel crayons. So I'm just gonna rub them on my mat. I hope you can see this in my angle of my camera. That's the original crayon and this is the newer gel crayons. This is the orange. I'm just gonna rub those down. They glide really easily. Um, Danielle did a video with those and I'm gonna give them a little squirt of water. These you tend to have to blend a tiny bit more because again, it's a crayon consistency and it's not a liquid. So you just blend it up. This is the crayon, the Vicky Booten crayon. That's a really pretty color. Blend it with the water to make your splatter. And here's the new gel crayon and this is the orange one. And that's more of a lighter, softer color. So that's making splatters with the crayons. Roll it one more time. The next thing we're gonna use is something you may not have thought about using, and that's some of the pastes. So this is the Vicki Booten paste. They come in packs of colors. There's the new ones are in the store. This one's called Grape Sour. I'm just gonna use the Ranger palette knife and put a very small amount there. I'm gonna put it on my glass mat. Gonna add some water to it. I'm gonna use my palette knife to stir it around real quick. And it really blends nicely. Doesn't take a ton of water. And I'm gonna use this little small paintbrush again. So if you were, say, using your texture paste in a stencil, and then you wanted splatters to match, you just thin it out and make your splatters to match it. In the store, we have the new paste by Simon Hurley. Let me move my paper over so I can show you this. These are the new Lunar Paste by Simon Hurley. There's five in the store. This one is called Traffic Cone. Y'all, these are beautiful. They have a metallic sheen to them. That is gorgeous. This one is Slippery When Wet. It's a gold. That is a beautiful gold. This one is Bee Sting. The names are so cute. That red. And I'm going to show you what they look like. This one is Later Gator. That's a, these, the red, green, and gold for Christmas will be phenomenal. And this blue is called Clear Skies. So you could do the same thing with it that we did with the other one. Here are these that I used with the Chow Bella stencil. This is in the store, it's the new Chow Bella coffee stain stencil. So what I wanted to show you on here is, here's the blue, the green, the traffic cone, the bee sting red, and the slippery one wet gold. So those are the, I really think everybody should have those. They go on so well. So in this is the new stencil in the store. It's the Chow Bella Coffee Stain. So for people who don't like to splatter on their page, you can take the stencil, and if you see here, there's little droplets on here. So there's the big coffee stain spots, but then you've got the little spots. You can use the texture paste and just make your own splatters in certain spaces that you want them, if you're wanting them to be bigger or with the texture, if you don't want to splatter the water. So those are the new Lunar Paste that are in the store from Simon Hurley, and they are in the five colors, and I think they're gonna go kind of fast. So I wanted to show you that. The next thing we're gonna move on to to make 
splatters out of, again, is something that you have in the house, probably in your stash, the little paints. This is an old metallic gold folk art paint that I have. You can just squirt it a little drop in the, oh, I got too much. We will definitely won't need that much into the well or onto your mat. Squirt some water in it and we're gonna mix it just like we mixed the other. You can use this with black on black to make black paint splatters. You can use it for white when you're having a darker paper and you need a white splatter. These, this gold is beautiful because it's a metallic. You can just go hold your brush straight up and down and make them or you can tap it. The further away you tap, you'll spread a bigger area. You can go closer and get it more of a specific area. So this is the gold. Any of the paints, the little acrylic paints that we've had forever in our stash, you can put a drop in, mix it with water, and get any color you want with that as well. So that's another thing that we have in our stash that we can use. The other thing that you can use is Nouveau Drops, and I don't know if you knew that. I'm gonna take a little Nouveau Drop squirt it on your mat and these are the new nouveau drops in the store y'all they're um they have a little black top these are glow drops and these glow in the dark this one's called shocking pink glow drops neon glows in the dark and there's several colors of those how fun would those have been when we were well when i was younger i'm just going to add a little squirt of water to the nouveau need a little bit more for this one you can also use the Nouveaux in your stencils, if you didn't know that. And that just makes a really soft pink. Let me grab a stencil and I will show you how to use the Nouveaux in your stencils as well. So, that's the pink. This is the coffee stain stencil that I showed you just a second ago. So see how there's the little drops there? So if you're wanting to make splatters, but you're not one that likes to fling water on your paper. You can put a little bit of Nouveau on there. And take your palette knife. You can use your stickles too, if anybody has stickles left in their thing, in their stash. So you can tape, if you wanna tape it down so you don't get it in areas, like the bigger coffee stains if you only want to make the little splatter spaces, you can tape over the other areas, okay? So you can make your splatters inside of these smaller ho holes all around there. Let me show you while I have it out how easy this lunar paste spreads since I had that made for you already. I'm gonna show you this gold. No, let's do the blue. It's beautiful. They're all really pretty. So it's a very whipped, thin consistency. Just get these palette knives come two to a pack. It's this one, I don't know where my other one went. And it's a little longer, not as pointed one. So these, you just put them on and spread them around. You can leave them thick if you want more of a texture or you can do them flat to where you're just getting the design of them. You know, it's like, depends on how much icing you want on your cake, I guess. Kind of like that. Look how beautiful that is. And this stencil is so fun. Again, you could do you could do paste in the stencil, you could do paint in the stencil, you can do the distress oxides in it, you could use um, the distress sprays and pick it up. You can do a reverse with it. So that's the new Chow Bella coffee stain stencils. The Chow Bella stencils are really nice. They're five by eight, they're a thicker consistency for a stencil. They don't bend very easy when you're rubbing around and you don't feel like you're, you know how some stencils are thin and you kind of bend them, these don't do that. So real quick to go over everything we did real quick, we did Distress Oxide and Distress Ink on our splat, glass mat, splat mat, acetate sheets mixed with water. We use sprays, which everybody probably has some sprays in there stash somewhere. You can use your paintbrush inside of these or just use the end of the nozzle that's on there. 
We used a watercolor. You can use any kind of watercolors that you have. The watercolors that are in the little trays, the ones that you have to add the droppers to. We use the paste. This is the new lunar paste and we use the Vicki Booten paste. We use the new gel crayons and the art crayons by Vicki Booten. And we used a little bit of Nuvo and again, you could use stickles. The only thing I had to supply were some paint brushes, a spray bottle, and a glass mat, acetate sheets, or a splat mat. And again, it just depends. You need to play around. I have several paint brushes that I use, but honestly, I use these the most, these two sizes here. These are the ones that are my go-to ones. You just want to make sure that they have a little point to make your splatters. So that is it for today. This was a quick one. It's Mixed Media Monday. We talked about splatters. Don't forget to check out paperissues.com. Use code MMMONDAY. Save 20% off of your entire purchase. You spend over $75 after your discount and you get Cassie's Freaky Fast Shipping. Be sure and subscribe when you go to YouTube. Hit the subscribe button and you hit the little bell and it can give you alerts to make you sure you know that we have a new video posted. So let me think. Christy will be back next Monday with a new video. And check out all the ones if you've missed them. We would love for you to give us a thumbs up. Drop us a comment. That helps more people see us. Share it with your friends. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Happy Monday. Have a great day. Talk to you all soon.